Welcome to my channel, Every Viewers. I'm Kentaro. This channel presents things related to Japan. In the first video of this channel, I introduced the Phantom Bridge, which sinks underwater in winter and emerges in spring. I've shown the full appearance of the Phantom Bridge in that upload. I've come back to a lake where the bridge sank underwater. Today, we are looking at the appearance of the Phantom Bridge in winter. This is the Lake Nukabira. This lake is an artificial lake for power generation at 60 kilometers north from Obihiro City, Hokkaido. Japanese National Railways had a line between Obihiro and Nukabira until 1985. In 1955, the construction of the dam which made this lake compelled transferring rails running along a river. At that time, rails in an area where all the sink and the lake were removed, but the bridge was abandoned without being dismantled. When I introduced the bridge in the first video, as it was in spring and the water had been drained out of the lake, so the bridge showed its whole appearance. If you are interested in this topic, check the first video which explains about the Pantan Bridge and its history. It's February 23rd today. I've come back to the Lake Nukavira to see what appearance the bridge shows in midwinter. As we can see, the lake is covered with ice. The bridge stands at the lake shore where we are able to reach by walking across this lake on the ice. Then, how we can get to the Lake Nukabira? The access to this lake is only a national route. It runs from Obihiro to Asahikawa. Provided you got used to driving in snow, you may come here by following the national route even in winter. However, I don't recommend driving a car on a road covered with snow. Putting our eyes on public traffic, only bus is an available transportation. A local bus, which is operated by Tokachi bus departing up here, is that one. A bus showing number 51 is bound for Nukabira. It carries you to the bus stop at the town of Nukabira. This bus line has four runs a day. Arriving at Nukabira, you need to get into a lake shore where is the nearest to the bridge. As a lake shore is six kilometers away from the town and no tra public traffic runs to there, so you should take advantage of vehicle to finish sightseeing of the bridge in a day. On the occasion, you don't have any transportation up to the lake shore, consider joining to a tour which a guide center in Nukavir holds. As you can see, I brought my road bike to transfer from the town of the Nukavira to the lake shore. It takes about 30 minutes from the town with this. Of course, a trick is needed to run on a road which is covered with snow and ice. Look, I have installed spec tires on my bike to prevent from slipping down. We are ready to start an adventure. Let's depart. I start by running from a road leading from the lakeside where I spoke the introduction. This broad road 
is a national road. At first, go upward. As Nukabira has hot springs and is in a national park, so a major industry of this town is sightseeing. Therefore, large hotels stand in this town. At the end of the town, the road branches two directions. A road going upward is closed in winter. The national road is rightward. After passing the intersection, the road passes through a valley by going up and down. If running on snow or ice, spike tires make bike riding stable. It appears to expand the possibility of winter outdoor activity. After about 50 minutes leaving Lukabira, you will hit to a place that has a large parking lot. This is San Nosawa, the third boy in English. You are able to get to the lecture at this valley, so anglers park their cars and go fishing from here. Passing the third valley, the road becomes a moderate slope. Although the national route goes through valleys along the lake, it isn't so hard to run. About 30 minutes with a bike, you are able to reach to Gonosawa. This signboard reads Gonosawa in Japanese. I arrived to Gonsawa. Putting it literally into English, it would be the fifth valley. This road is the National Road 273, which runs the west side of the lake. From Gonsawa, we have to walk by putting on snowshoes. As the forest spreads along the National Road, after going about 300 meters, through this snow fallen forest after lecture, we are able to get on the ice on the water surface. From the shore to the bridge, we are passing through the lake walking on the ice about 2 kilometers in straight. A path going into the forest starts at the side of the parking space at Gonsawa. It has been left by visitors came here before. Following this path, we are able to pass through the forest. I met a road trail on the way. This is a trace of a railroad that has been operated until 1985. And now, it's used as a promenade. The path is winding in the forest. Decreases, the end of the forest gets closer to us. forest, the lake shore was full of silence.
I pass through the forest. For walking on the ice in this lake, you may do it from the fifth valley or the third valley along the lake. I have an important note about walking on the ice in this lake. Do not enter into this lake from Tarshwitz Observatory. Look at this map. A point marked with a red circle is Tarshwitz Observatory. As the map shows, the place of the observatory is near the end of the lake. The ice around Tarshwitz Observatory is thin by the water flowing into the lake. So standing on the ice around the observatory is very dangerous. Keep in mind that where you may walk into the lake Nukavira is from the fifth valley or the third valley. Well, we go ahead. This flat snow field is ice on the water surface. This hill was also under ice a month ago. Passing the hill, the bridge comes in fast height. In December, water is stored up to a maximum capacity of the lake to supply demand of electricity. Through winter, water is drained out of this lake for power generation. So the bridge emerges from under ice gradually. I came to the central part of the lake. We can see tents are pitched in far side. That place is the offshore of the third body. In winter, smooth fishing is permitted at this lake. Visitors can enjoy smooth fishing through holes they open. As they fish in cold air, so those tents are provided to save from chilly winds. In winter, the water level descends 15 centimeters in average a day. Today is February 23rd. And surely, the level should have declined 9 meters since the end of last December. Well, let's see the bridge from here. It still looks small. I'm walking on ice. Saying exactly what I'm doing is walking on snow covering ice. Therefore, hurting is soft than we expect. In order to walk on ice, a wide footwear is indispensable. However, using snowshoes is able to prevent your foot from sinking in snow. Many footprints are left towards the bridge on us by visitors came here. Thanks to that, we would never lose the way. Besides that, snow under footprint has been hardened, so it's easy to walk. The most part of the bridge has already appeared, but water still remains on the ice around the bridge. walked across the lake. It was an adventure in 30 minutes. Thank you for having me so patiently. 
This is a fashion bridge, Tosh Bridge, in winter. From this bridge, we can see the ice field. Only two months later, a view at here will change from an ice field to a lake bed. In every winter, ice has a bridge from its both inside and outside. At the outside of the bridge, ice on the water surface scrapes the bridge as the water level declines. At the inside of the bridge, water permeated in the bridge increases its volume when it's frozen and makes concrete block crumbly. Those severe affairs are happening to this bridge even in this moment. There is a corridor of trees ahead of the bridge. Trains carried passengers and woods until 70 years ago by passing through the bridge and this forest. As getting close to spring, what sank in the water appears again. Steps on the lake bed also emerge in the form of mushroom too. This lake has abbreviated that walking for 60 years. And it will last in the future as well. Time to go back has come. Today's journey, visiting the Phantom Bridge, has left something impressive in your heart. This journey was literally an adventure by walking through with no path. It sounds something dangerous activities. However, by preparing appropriate equipments and paying attention to safety, this journey could be an unusual experience which we can enjoy only in winter. Depends on the climate in respective year, you are able to walk across this week from January to March. But in January and March, ice on the lake could be thin. Confirm if you can get on the ice or not at the near term. Have a nice experience and a safe journey. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope this video 
has contributed something to your interesting visit where you want to see and enjoy what you want to experience. See you next topic. Bye. Time to go back has come.